Hey guys, this is Tim and welcome to the Tim G. Edwards Music YouTube channel. Today's guitar lesson, I'm going to teach you how to learn the, the notes for every string and every fret across the neck of the guitar. A very easy method to learn. Uh, we'll go over just some very basic music theory to help you learn uh, these notes. If you're not a current subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. It's free. There's no obligation. Just simply bookmarks my channel on your subscription so I can easily be found. Uh, when new videos are posted. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, to review a little bit of music theory, uh, the musical alphabet, there are seven notes, seven primary notes. Uh, these are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it starts back over again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those uh, seven primary notes. So if we relate these uh, seven notes to the piano keys, uh, they would represent the white keys on the piano. So if we start with uh, C, uh, you would just go in alphabetical order. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then it starts with C again. C, D, E, F, G, a, B, and then it, it will just continue uh, to go up the, the uh, keys of the piano. And the black keys, there are five black keys. If you notice, there's a set of two, and then there's a set of three. And the black keys represent sharps and flats. So the first black key, you'll notice it's C sharp or D flat. Uh, so if you're going up on the, uh, the notes, then if you're going from a C to the black key, it would be a C sharp. If you're on a D and you're going down, it would be a D flat. So depending on which direction that you're going up, up the uh, scale or down the scale would uh, dictate if you use a sharp or a flat on those notes. So for example, if we're going up, it'd be C, then C sharp, then back down to D, and then the black key D sharp, and then E, and then F, and then F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and A sharp, B. And if you notice, E, F, and B, and C are side by side. There's no black notes uh, dividing these uh, two notes. So that is very, very important to uh, to remember. Uh, so there's no half steps, sharps or flats between E and F and the notes B and C. So it's important that you uh, remember those. So if you notice those seven white keys and five black keys will add up to 12 notes. So that's the total notes, uh, including whole notes and then sharps and flats in the musical alphabet that you'll ever use. Uh, and then on the keyboard, it just simply repeats. Those 12 notes repeats, and those are called octaves. And on a piano, there are 88 keys in all uh, that represents seven and a quarter uh, octaves across the keyboard. So once you learn those set of 12 notes on a keyboard or piano, then they just simply repeat uh, up, up an octave or two or down an octave or two. And again, it's important to remember that there's no spaces or black notes between the keys B, C, and E, and F, okay? Okay, step one in learning the uh, notes of the, of the guitar across the frets and each open string. Uh, start first by memorizing uh, the open string tones uh, first, starting with the top bass string, which is an E, and then the second string down is A, and then D, G, B, and E. So remember those six uh, note names. Uh, one way to help you remember those is just remember uh, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So the first letter of each of one of those words may help you remember. Elephants, E, and A, D, donkeys, G, grow, B, big, 
E ears. Okay, very interested. Uh, another way to learn it is Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. Uh, that may help you uh, remember the notes. Uh, then lastly, every angry dog growls and bites eventually. Uh, so these may help you learn what each of the open strings notes are. Uh, and then once you've got these memorized, then you'll, you'll probably forget about uh, these uh, interesting and funny sayings on that. So, so again, if you remember those 12 musical notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, including all the sharps and flats, uh, just keep that in mind. On the guitar, each individual fret is a semitone apart or half a step. So uh, each fret are half steps, okay, or, or semitones there. Uh, so they're half a step apart. When you move a note up two frets, it forms a whole note or a tone. These would represent whole notes. And step down would actually probably represent a sharp or a flat, okay? So except where B, C, and E, and F meet side by side, uh, in order to determine A, uh, B, and a C to a D, you would, uh, you would skip every other fret uh, to make the whole note. Okay, step two, uh, let's look at the E string or string number six. Let's start by identifying the whole notes of the E string, uh, number six, mainly on the dots or frets. So the open note is E and, and then the next fret will be F. Okay, and then go up two frets. This will be a G. So just remember E, F, G, E, F, G, up to that first dot there. E, F, G, then what comes after G uh, is A. So go up two frets, that's an A. So E, F, G, A, and then what comes up after A is B. So go up to the next dot is a B, okay? So open is E, F, skip two, G, skip two, A, skip two, B. Now B and C are together, they're side by side, so you won't skip uh, a fret. So just go up a half a fret, that is a C, okay? So it's E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? Now to, to go to a D, you go up two frets. That is a D, and then the last, go up two frets, they'd form the E. And that's where the two dots are typically on the fret. So uh, I think all guitars will have two dots uh, on your fretboard and you can see some of these fret markers up here facing you or you can see them on the face of the neck. So when you get to the 12th um, fret, that is an octave, okay? So that is an E. So if you st strum the top string open, that is an E. And then press down on the 12th fret of that sixth string, that is an E. That's just an octave higher. Okay, so let's review uh, that again on string number six. Open is E, and there's no spaces between E and F, so it's the first fret. So it's E, F, G, A, B. B and C is together, so just go up a half a fret there. That's C, skip a fret, D, and then E. Okay, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, okay. So, so you may have noticed on the chart there, when you're on the C, uh, you're not actually on the dot. If you go to the dot on the ninth fret, that is a C sharp, 
C sharp if you're going up. Now if you're going down, it would be a D flat, okay? So it's E, F, G, A, B, C, C sharp, D, E, okay? All right. It's very important that you really learn primarily the notes on the uh, sixth string because uh, uh, if you, once you've identified these notes, then that'll kind of help you later on when you're playing bar chords, okay? Uh, now, once you've learned the notes on string number six, you've also learned the notes on string number one because string number one and string number six are both E's. Uh, they're just two octaves apart. So it's the same thing if you look at string number one, that is E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay? Okay, try to start memorizing, you know, the notes on the dots, uh, at least as you uh, work your way at memorizing uh, all the, the frets on the sixth string. Uh, or the first string. So you know the first dot is, is a G. So the open string is an E, that's G, and then the second dot is an A, and then the third dot is a B, and then the uh, ninth dot is a C sharp or D flat, okay? And then your last double dots is an octave up, it's an E also, it's a higher E, okay? Now let's identify the sharps and flats between the whole notes of the E string. So open, you got E, and then this is F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, a sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, okay? And then you may have noticed uh, when you get past the double dots, it, the remaining uh, frets just simply repeats uh, the notes like you have on the lower end, okay? So they just simply repeat. So you got the E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and so forth, okay? They just simply repeat, all right? So now let's identify the whole notes on each fret of the A string, okay? This is the string number five. So if you know the open string is A, then what is the next alphabet after A? It's B, okay? So you gotta skip a fret. So B will be this second fret here. A, B, and if you remember, B and C doesn't have any black notes in between it. So you only go up one fret to make that whole note. So it's A, B, C, okay? A, B, C, then skip a fret, D, skip a fret, E, and then E and F is together, so you only go up uh, one fret. So that is E, F, then two notes, G, and then two notes, that is an A, okay? So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, okay? So now let's identify the sharps and flats on the A string between each of the whole notes. So open is A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, 
G, G sharp, and then A. Okay. Now, you can identify all the notes uh, remaining by just using that same method. Okay, another method uh, to identify the remaining strings is what I call an octave method. Okay, so in other words, if you look at the diagram there, F, which is on the top string, fret number one, if you go down two strings, one, two, and go across two strings, one, two, that is an F also. That's an octave, okay? So down two strings, across two strings, those will be the same note. It's just an octave higher. So this is how you can identify that. Those are F. Okay, and if you look at the G, go down two notes, one, go down two strings, and then across two frets, that will be a G. Okay. Okay, if you look at A, go down two strings, one, two, and across two frets, one, two. This, uh, this is also an A. Okay, let's say you're on the uh, five, uh, two strings down. If you're on the D, to identify the D on that, you go down two strings and across two frets. That is a D. Uh -huh. But just know those are octaves there. Two strings down, two frets across. Okay. okay. Uh, second method to identify the notes on strings number uh, one and two, you go two strings down, but instead of two frets across, you have to go three frets across to understand uh, what those notes are, okay? So if we go back to F, go two strings down, one, two, two frets across, one, two, that is an F. Okay? If we know this is an F, you go two strings down, one, two, and instead of two frets across, you go three, one, two, three. So that's an F. Same thing on the D, if you're on the string number uh, six here, at the fifth fret, that is a D, two strings down, two frets across, is a D, okay, to get the next D, if you're here, go down two strings, one, two, but you're on the very bottom string, and then three frets across, one, two, three. That is a D. Okay, so that's another way to identify the notes across the fretboard, if you just remember those octaves. Or you, or you could just simply go up the musical uh, alphabet and then plug in the sharps and flats in between the whole notes. So it's just a matter of time when you uh, identify all the notes across the fret of the guitar, uh, the whole notes including sharps and flats. So just in review, the musical alphabet is just the seven notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you have the sharps and flats in between each one of those notes with the exception of between B and C and E and F, which there's no black notes or there's no sharps or flats between these two notes. So hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but practice uh, naming those notes out verbally and that'll help you remember the, the note names. Okay, if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and hit the like button. If you're not a current subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. It's free, there's no obligation, just simply bookmarks my channel on your subscription so I can easily be found and when new videos have been uploaded. Thanks for viewing today. I'd like to thank all my current subscribers as well. So 
Have a great day. God bless you.